Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Now I know it would normally be Construction Simulator but I really want to get this series done and dusted. I do feel like we're dragging it on now. Uh, so it's going to be so nice to get all these fields harvested and then build our massive solar farm for the last couple of episodes and then we'll be selling everything to see how well we actually did. It's obviously been very good. Uh, you can just feel that we've got millions of pounds worth of fields or assets. Um, so anyway, yeah, we're going to the uh, soybean field here. Once this field has been done, which will be just a few minutes from now, we can move on to the massive corn field, where we actually do have two corn fields, field 26, the big one, and also field 31, which is a bit smaller than it used to be. Actually, it is quite small now because <laughs> we, we built the uh, fish farm on it and it took up quite a bit of space. Uh, actually, regarding the fish farm, many people have said if I update the fish farm mod, it will remove the need to use pallets. It doesn't need pallets anymore. So that obviously means that we don't have to do all the tree processing and everything. We can do if we want to, but I think it probably is going to be worth updating. I should always keep it up to date anyway. Because then, I think we just need the mineral feed. And we should have, soon, a great deal of mineral feed. Okay, so we'll keep the lorry trailer here. Uh, we'll be delivering all of these soybeans to the mineral feed factory, just over there. Because, well, I established in the previous episode that we didn't have that many, really. I harvested 37, and it didn't produce that much. So once we have all of this in that production, we should have enough. So, let's get it done. This is going to be pretty tight, but it looks like we do have just about the right width. Uh, see, I just recently, uh, in the last few hours, swapped over to my Logitech G27 pedals, because I've always known that the G29 has got really firm pedals, especially the reverse or the brake. Um, and yeah, I basically found my G27 pedals, swapped them over, and it's fantastic. It's so nice to have the spongier softer pedals again so if you used to have a G27 and still have the pedals and you don't like the G29 pedals then I do recommend swapping them over they do work I've had no issue so um, yeah very very nice it wasn't too bad initially but it does start to make your foot ache a bit when you're pushing down so hard on the pedal a few people have said that you can reduce the spring strength or something by going inside it and taking something out but to be honest I didn't really fancy doing any of that Especially as I still have the G27 pedals. Shame my wheel broke. The 27 wheel broke. Anyway, yes, there we go. Let's um, go and take this to the production just over here. We got 17,475 litres out of this field, which I think is going to bring it to about the right amount. We'll soon see what the total is, although we will have already produced some mineral feed. Okay, you need to make sure we're set to sliding floor or walking floor. I just call it sliding floor. I've always called it walking floor because it, it walks. Should be able to see it hopefully. Let me see. Oh, well, they do anyway. These. Ah, why don't you shut it on my head? <laughs> they, they do walk outwards. Uh, anyway, yes, that's all good. Oh, there is still a little bit left in there. It must be full. So, as it turns out, we have the perfect amount. Uh, if I just progress time ever so slightly, 
hopefully we'll be able to free up the space to be able to uh, empty this fully because we do need it for the corn oh good well in that case I will just tip it here we can scoop it up in a second should be fine yeah, so we need to take all the combines over to the field. Uh, thank you to everybody who told me why my worker wasn't working. I was trying to get the worker to drive the combine to the field, and it turns out it's because the header is too wide. It wouldn't have been able to navigate the roads with such a wide header. Uh, despite it being folded up, this is the corn header that I'm talking about. Also, we have loads and loads of eggs. A ridiculous amount of eggs. So we need to find out when the best price is for those because we're going to make a fortune from the eggs alone. Ah. Today. 4207. That one is still increasing, but that's still very good. 4215. Almost overlooked it. It's coming down. The price is coming down, so we're going to have to do that first before we do the corn. So I'll grab the trailer, which auto loads. I'll just park here to begin with. In fact, I should already have it attached. I've got so many machines, there it is. Yep, we're empty. So, oh, there's gonna be so many eggs. This is gonna be fairly spectacular. Almost forgot to enable it. Right, just driven over most of them. Anyone for some scrambled egg or an omelet? This pallet's going free. So from the first chicken pen, I've picked up 22,576 litres. That's phenomenal. Uh, also, I am planning on starting Vintage Survival very soon. I know it seems like a kind, well, kind of a weird time to start it because we do have the Platinum Edition being released very soon. But uh, yeah, Vintage Survival tends to be only once a week anyway. So I think I think we can start, and there is quite a bit of time before Platinum Edition is released to uh, to crack on with it. I've been trying to find the best map, and I found a couple. But yeah, the, the one which I used in FS19 was spectacular. It was like it was designed specifically for that series. It was absolutely amazing. Um, I'm not sure if the creator of that map has done anything for 22. In fact, I think that might have been their only map for 19. Which is a shame, because I think their skills are outstanding. That was such a good map. This must be our olive oil stacking up. And canola oil, still going. No point picking them up just yet. We'll wait until we've got a good load. And then we'll just sell everything in one go. In the last episode I will do a before and after comparison, so I'll start a new save game and then compare it to this save game. I think it's going to be very interesting. Look at that money, it's just rocketing. Absolutely amazing. Just from the eggs, and they're going to keep producing, I need to keep feeding them of course. Mustn't forget to do that. But, there we go. £183,000. Still nowhere near as good as clothes, but still very good. So as we have hit a million again, I could build my next turbine. I think it would be a wise idea, considering there's not much time left and uh, per month these things generate a lot of money. At the end, we'll, we'll be selling the turbines anyway, so, well, I suppose depreciation. They are a long-term asset I suppose, something which is going to make a lot of money over a long period of time. The way I'm doing it isn't the best way, but uh, it would do. Right, they don't want to be hitting each other. I can't see the top of it. Hmm. Well, I know that one's going that way and that one's going that way, so I'll put it about there. Can we see them? Yes, we can. Now oh, they look alright. Yeah, they look good. They are quite close, but I don't think they're going to hit each other. I think the heads must rotate anyway, actually, because, yeah, they do. 
I'm running quite fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they definitely rotate. They're just going with the wind. To make them as efficient as possible. Anyway, our partner's here. Because I don't know where it's going to be needed next. We'll get back over to the combine harvesters. And we'll get everything taken over. I think we'll do the small field first, 31. And then we can get cracking with the big field. The big field is going to require a grain cart. And it'd be nice to have a second trailer. So I think we'll probably get a second trailer. Actually, I think we're done with this. This header. I think it'd be unwise to sell it now, just in case. But any day now that can go. Well, amazingly, the worker has decided to go for the difficult area first, which is nice. I'm very pleased it has done. Uh, although maybe actually with the fence or the hedge being so close up here, it's now the easier area, potentially. So I need to, um, I'll just stick that on a worker as well. I just need to summon the lorry over here. It's in a little bit of a tricky position, but I certainly hope it can make it to here. Vehicle missing, oh no, right, it's the follow me. We need to go to go to park here and hopefully it'll manage it it is moving so oh, it'll probably crash into my header which is just there oh it does look to be heading this way that's very nice <laughs> uh, right so I can now take over from this worker and I can do the tricky area actually that is amazing that worker managed to get around this hedge I'm so pleased that Giants have improved that because once upon a time they would have just kept driving and they'd be like this they'd be doing this forever just spinning the wheels <laughs> so it's still not perfect but yeah definitely a, a good step in the right direction I'll go back over there and tidy things up there. That is absolutely flying. I suppose we can actually go a little bit faster. There we go. Right. Let's get this field completed. Hopefully the lorry turns up. Oh, there it is now. You can see it. Well, that makes short work of that. I think the best thing to do now is to get this combine here to go over to the big field, so we can start there. We don't need two combines doing this final piece. Oh, they've actually just crashed into each other. I'll make sure it's fully empty. And then I need to get the uh, chaser bin and I'm going to pull it with a big tractor, rented. I think it would be quite tempting to go for the versatile. I don't actually recall using the versatile tractor. I might have done, but I certainly haven't used it much. Okay, here we go. The biggest field on the map, ready for its second and last harvest. Yeah, it's going to be full in no time, but at least it's another combine tank done. So yeah, we'll see how far it's got. Probably just up and then down again. Uh, if I go into here, large tractors. First top, I'm hoping it will actually fit to it. Should be able to. I very much hope so. And the engine, yeah, I might as well just go for a big one. 
And then we need the chaser bin. Or the auger wagon. Uh, we want to go for this one here, I think. Yeah. Go for red. Should be good. Okay, let's just find it. There it is. Yeah, so really hoping it's going to fit. It's like the only field which I can justify using this setup on it. That looks good. That looks very good. Okay, well, top speed of 22 by the look of it. Let's make our way over to the field. And I do also need to get another trailer sorted out. Seems like a comfortable operating area. Nice big setup. Look at that timing. Wow. Uh, so we actually can still do this on the move. It won't resume unless I cancel and then restart. So off we go. Okay, just pull my speed down. Should be okay. I think we are set to about eight. Yeah, so I need to get the other the other combine across to here. Uh, the lorry is on the way somewhere. But it's surprising how quickly you can fill these chaser bins. I mean, already we're going to be probably 25% full, so we're going to get four four loads in here before it's totally full. There we go. I'll just get to the end. Impressive. So yeah, it didn't get all the way up and down. You get that with the combine. It's some. Oh, look at that. This is my point about them not being perfect. It's actually stuck. Completely stuck. In the end, the lorry managed to drive itself here. So this is going to set off about here. It can't be too far away, otherwise it's going to take me forever to get between the two. Um, yeah, so that one is 53% full. I can soon make it 100%. Possibly. Actually, yeah, probably not 100%. Love that, it's so satisfying seeing such a massive amount coming out in one go. Yeah, it looks like it's almost full, but not quite. So I can now resume, just seeing the combine disappearing in the tall crop. I think once I've unloaded this one again, I'll rent another trailer and we'll get it picked up. We'll get the worker to bring it back though. I'm not too sure exactly what we're doing with the corn. I think I was just planting corn to sell, I think. Because the cereal factory doesn't require it. That's full. Uh, and yes, I don't think we're even going to get through what's in the cereal factory. So, yeah. If I did say a reason, then I've forgotten it. I think at this stage in the series, <laughs> it will just be to sell. No way can we process all of this in that short period of time. But anyway, yeah, that's good. That looks to be uh, pretty much empty again. There we go. Trailers. We need a big trailer. Lease it. Attach to it. And then tell a worker to help us out. Actually, I think it might be easier if we get it to come to the top of the field about here. Hopefully. 
Right. On your way, worker. Okay. Good start. Ah. Good. <laughs> it didn't want to run the risk of crashing into it. Wow, did this combine only get up once? It just came up and then it's full? Blimey. Ah, yeah, I probably didn't ever do that last application. So that would be even more fertilised than the first bit. Yeah, so this is going to be a gigantic job. Luckily, we do have the equipment for it. I'll probably have to bring the other tractor unit across for the other trailer. Right, that one's on its way again. The lorry is here, and the other tractor unit is on the way as well, uh, which really shouldn't be too far away. I've told it to go down to where the other trailer is, so we can get that one attached. Just leave this here. But as you can see, they have already almost finished the first section. Really, the other one should be working the other way, but not to worry. We'll finish this section today, and then we'll do the other big section uh, tomorrow. That is a really big section, because that is fully fertilised and, well, it's a bigger area. So, it's going to be uh, super, super busy. So let's get this lorry over here. I've realised now why the other one's being so slow. It's because it's got a cruise control speed set. So it's only doing about 10 miles per hour. Right, I think this time we really can go from empty to full in just a few seconds. This is going to be amazing. And that one's full again. No surprise there. Uh, luckily, it's such a narrow strip, we can probably just cut through the crop. Okay. <laughs> uh, so satisfying watching that. Well, there we go. It looks like actually it's not a full load, but it's still a very good load. This one over here will make it a full load. It got further this time because it wasn't in the uh, fully fertilized area. It just goes to show what a difference it makes. Six miles prior this was doing. I really shouldn't have had it set to six. So we'll have two trailers which are full, and whatever's left in the uh, auger wagon over there. This one's 87%, so they're both about 87%. It's now 100%. Oh, they're both on the same, they're on a collision course, they're on the same little strip. And I think we're done. Did they clash? Possibly. No, they didn't. Right, you can finish that piece off. Put this straight into here. I think it's been a good day. We've uh, progressed quite nicely. Finished the soybeans. And as soon as this is done, that is going to be the end of the harvest. So that means that, well, we'll be doing this in episode 197, I think it is. It means that 98, 99, and of course 200 will be doing other things like the fish farming, selling stuff, working on the productions. And it also means that we'll be finishing next week. Okay, so it didn't quite fit. But not to worry. Okay, right, I'm going to leave everything here. Ready for tomorrow. I'll put the two lorries together. Because I'll actually be getting the worker to uh, drive one of them. And as I said, I think we're selling. I'm pretty sure we're selling. I, I don't believe I was doing this for a production. Okay. Looks good. Having two full identical trailers together. 
So anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Really hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.